Hi YouTube, it's Mark here from Mark's Movie Reviews. Um, today I'm going to do my special. It's going to be my top 10 action films. I've decided it's going to be my action films. So uh, yeah, here we go. Right, at number 10, it's going to be uh, Blade 2. Um, this came out in 2002. Uh, it was directed by uh, Guillermo del Toro. I can't say his second his first name, sorry. His first name is confusing. Uh, it stars Wesley Snipes as Blade and Chris Christopherson as Abraham Whistler who's basically Blade's uh, like sidekick and brought him up basically in, in, the, in the film. Um, the reason why I've chosen the second one over the first one, I think the second one's got a better story, the action's a lot better as well, so you can sort of, it, you can relate to the second one. It's a really good sort of, I mean it's, it's Marvel, so it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a comic book, so it's gonna be over the top, it's gonna be ridiculous, but I love this film because, sort of really the, the action scenes are really important I mean, each scene sort of you know connects um, you can relate to the characters as well the acting is really good here as well but basically if the story follows uh, Wesley Snipes um, as Blade who he's half vampire half human and he works with vampires to basically take out higher, vampir high, uh, higher vampires who are basically they're more sort of developed and they're more sort of um, they're sort of more advanced than the normal, uh, the normal vampire. Um, but yeah, I'm only going to do this briefly because it's ten films and it's probably quite long. But yeah, that really good film, really good directing, everything. Yeah, right. Number nine is uh, Run Load of Run. Um, this film came out in 1998, um, directed by Tom Tykwer, uh, starring Franco Patet, Patent as Lola. This film, I only saw this film a couple of years ago, it's brilliant, I mean I loved it. It, it sort of, it plays out like a, um, like a video game, I mean most, it's not a video game adaptation but most video game adaptations are terrible, but this sort of works better because it's not based on a game, it sort of plays out like a game, it's basically, the story is, she basically, she's got to get 100 uh, German money, German, it's basically 100,000 German marks in 20 minutes to save her boyfriend or else her boyfriend's gonna basically die. So what she did is she, she tries, tries ways of getting the mini and like each, cause it's, it's in like three sort of sections. So basically each time she sort of dies differently or like she does something differently like trips over someone um, or she gets, she gets shot by someone. And so it, you know, it plays like a video game, so it, sort of, it restarts each time. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really good. You should check. This is probably the the one out of the top ten where you should check it out mostly because it's really sort of really solid, solid, solid filmmaking, solid everything. Right, number eight, number eight, <laughs> number eight is uh, Bad Boys Two. Uh, this uh, this came out in two thousand and three, uh, directed by Michael Bay, starring Will Smith as Detective Mike Lowry and Martin Lawrence as Marcus Burnett. Uh, I mean, I love this film. I mean, it didn't get very good reviews because I think it's quite sort of racist and quite sort of, yeah, it's, it's very racist, I think. It's very sort of uh, against gays, I think. But the, the plot is basically these two detectives are trying to take out this really high, like he's like basically a drug lord, and he's, he's smuggling, uh, I think it's ecstasy. Yeah, he's smuggling ecstasy in the country and they're trying to just take him out basically and then things start as the plot progresses the you know the, there's more plot there's more plots in this so I won't I won't um, say any of the plot because it's spoil it but yeah you should basically check this out because I love this film it's the some of the action sequences are just absolutely brilliant like proper like make you go whoa <laughs> like most of the films do on this well, all of the films do on this list. So yeah, you should check it out, it's brilliant. Not the best directing, but it's just some action sequences are just absolutely amazing, like proper world. Like, well, number seven, ah! Number seven is Rush Hour. Uh, this came out in 1998, uh, directed by Brett Ratner, uh, starring Chris Tucker as Detective Inspector James Carter, and uh, Jackie Chan as Detective Inspector Lee. Now this film, um, I love this film. As soon as I saw it, I saw it probably mid-90s, I'd say, probably when I was about seven or eight. 
probably too young, but it's only 12, isn't it? So it's sort of a get away with it if you're watching at home. <laughs> but yeah, this this was brilliant. This was basically the plot is these two detectives, the head of the Chinese council, his daughter gets kidnapped and they've got to get her back basically. And um, they sort of like bad things happen on the way as the plot you know progresses a bit like bad boys too um less violent though obviously because it's only a 12 but this 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 is really good some of the action scenes in this were brilliant as well as well as being a really good action film it's really funny as well so it's like an action comedy so yeah you should definitely check this out awesome film uh, chris tucker and jackie chan they're brilliant together they've got really good chemistry so yeah that was really good right number six and number six we've got uh terminator 2 judgment day uh, the year this came out was 1991, uh, directed by James Cameron, uh, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger as the main character as the Terminator, obviously. Uh, Linda Hamilton as Sarah Connor, Elba Furlong as John Connor, um, uh, Sarah, Connor's, uh, Sarah Connor's son, uh, John Connor, and Robert Patrick as a T-1000, T who's basically the main bad guy in it. He's, you know, he's indestructible, basically. And um, yeah, the film follows pretty much, it's a really simple plot actually. It's basically them trying to, it's the uh, T-1000 trying to kill um, John Connor basically, because he's been sent to, I think he's sent to the future to kill uh, John Connor. And then obviously Arnold Schwarzenegger is there to save save the day. Um, this has got some really sort of good action se sequences in it and it's quite sort of influential one of the most influential films actually that came out a lot of films a lot of action films nowadays borrowed from this film i, I think because a lot of the scenes it's very well put together i mean each scene sort of progresses and each scene fits together really well and the, the payoffs absolutely amazing as well so but when i originally watched this film i thought it was really it was it was good but not as good as like when you see it a couple more times and when you see it about two or three times you think oh this is actually really good and the special effects are really good as well for the for, the, for 1991 I mean they were absolutely brilliant really really good right number five going into my top five now so yeah number five number five is The Matrix uh, th this this came out in 1999 uh, directed by the Wachowski brothers uh, starring Keanu Reeves as uh, Thomas A. Anderson um, and Neo as well uh, Lawrence Fishburne as Morpheus, uh, Carrie Ann Moss as Trinity, Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith, and Joe Pantoliona as Cypher. But yeah, th this is. <laughs> you can't really explain this film in about a minute, but I think you should just watch this film if you haven't already seen it. I mean, I think most people have seen The Matrix, um, I believe. The plot is just insane and like proper head. 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 fuck. Basically, a proper message of mind. Um, but the action sequences are so good. Like, a lot of sort of. It's not. I mean, I disagree with sort of slow motion because it doesn't really. When you put slow motion in a film, it, it's quite hard to explain. But it, it. You don't need slow motion all the time in a film. But for this, it actually does work because that's what happens when certain like action sequences happen it sort of it fits in with the, the film because that's their sort of like special power sort of but basically the plot is uh is basically thomas a anderson uh, who's played by karen reeves he he's a computer hacker and he gets basically chosen by uh morpheus who's played by lawrence fishburne and then he has a bit of a relationship with trinity as well and then he he's basically a hacker. Uh, he gets chosen by these people, and then yeah, things get progressively sort of more messed up as you go along. But you should really check this film out. It's really really good. Great action scenes. Great everything. Great acting. I have number four. I'm going for uh, Rush, which came out in 2013. Uh, directed by Ron Howard, starring Liam Hemsworth as James Hunt and Daniel Brawl as Nicky Laudra. Now I reviewed this film a couple of weeks ago, so I'm not gonna dive into it because you know you've already seen well if you have seen it if you've seen my review show you'll know what the plot is about but yeah i'm not gonna say much just watch it it's really good one of the, probably the best action film this year amazing right number three is uh die hard four 
or in America it was called Live Free or Die Hard. Uh, this came out in 2007, uh, directed by Lenz Wiseman, uh, starring Bruce Willis as John McClane. Now, this is one of two Die Hard films that are in my top top ten. Um, but this one, I love this. The the, the plot is basically um, John McClane. He's been you know he's been uh, he's been out of action for for quite a while for a couple of years. He gets called up by his department to basically take out um, this group of people who are there. Take they're basically they're taking out the infrastructure of America, so they're controlling everything by computer, and they're hacking into the infrastructure of America, basically. And I think the plot here is probably the strongest bit, and it's got some really amazing action sequences as well. I mean, I had to do a, like a seminar on this in in my first year of media, and there was a scene where they're going through a tunnel. There's like, and they turn all the lights off because they, they control the lights in this tunnel, and then the cars are like, you know, they're going to hit each other basically, and all because all the lights go out, it goes a bit mental. And th this scene, what I had to do for my seminar was just amazing, like proper tense as well, like sort of, but you know, some bad's going to happen, so like it builds up. Yeah, number two, right? Number two is a uh, Die Hard. This came out in 1988, uh, directed by John McTiernan. Uh, Sign Bruce Willis as John McClane. Now the first one, this is this was a tough one. It was between the, the first one or the fourth one because I loved the fourth one. The fourth one was so good. But when I saw Die Hard for the first time, I didn't really like it. Um, it was sort of a mix for me. But then I watched it. I think probably a year or a couple of years later, and you actually you've, it has it's much better than what you actually you think it is. I mean, it's sort of this. In, this is one of the most influential action films I think that, that's come out. Because it's sort of it's a really simple plot. It follows a man. He's basically gone to a party with his wife. He meets with his wife in uh, this Nakatomi Plaza. It's called a massive building in New York. He has to um, like the building basically gets take out, taken over by a load of their you know their criminals and they're trying to steal gold from the uh, vault in this massive vault in the building and then things get progressively worse as they go along as a, yeah as the film progresses things get more worse well, yeah things get worse and he basically has to work on his own to basically take out all these bad guys but you should check this out definitely or you should check every single film out on this list but probably this one the probably the most out of all of them because it 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 definitely influenced it's very simple plot but very effective number one is basically a drum roll let's do a drum roll Right, number one is uh, The Dark Knight, uh, came out in 2008, uh, directed by Christopher Nolan, starring Christian Bale as Bruce Wayne and Heath Ledger as the Joker. I mean, oh my god, this film is just absolutely insane. I mean, my favourite film, probably, of all time. Just everything about it, the acting, the action sequences, just everything is so good, um, especially praise for um, the Joker who's played by Heath Ledger. He's just absolutely insane as a Joker. I mean, I think this is the one of the main reasons why I actually really like Batman and he's probably my favorite comic book character. I mean, he doesn't have any superpowers. He's just got a suit with loads of cool stuff attached to it. And he's just, he's just a badass. The Joker as well, like the acting here is just, I think, because he, 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 he died afterwards, if, if you didn't already know, he died afterwards, um, I think he had a drug overdose or something, he was found in his hotel room, but I think he, he actually got an Oscar for this, like a, a post-humorous uh, Oscar, so he, like, he really deserved it, and if he, if he didn't, you know, kill himself, it, it, he would have been brilliant with uh, Bane and uh, Batman in, in The Dark Knight Rises, which is the third one in the series. The plot is... Um, Bruce Wayne, uh, aka Batman, um, he has to basically take out the Joker and the Joker sort of plays with his mind and does all this weird stuff to sort of, you know, to distract him. Um, but this is probably the, the perfect film to watch when you're, you know, a, a perfect uh, for a night in basically with, with anyone, girlfriend, mum, dad, brother, sister, whatever. Should definitely check this out it's absolutely amazing brilliant film uh, this all this is 
this will be long in the memory for God knows how long. But yeah, you should definitely check it out. It's really, really good. That's my top 10. So I want to know what your uh, top 10 is. Um, just comment in, your, in the section below. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys soon anyway. Uh, bye. The Juggernaut.